Boom shakalaka, watch out for Bitcoin's next surprise move. This hidden signal explains all. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including the one hidden signal that explains everything and where price could likely be headed for Bitcoin and for all coins. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, come join us on Twitter through Crypto Love. And of course, subscribe to the coolest channel on all of the YouTubes. Now, today, fear and greed down to 56. People are getting scared up from yesterday's 53. But still, last week, last month's greed and extreme greed. People are getting scared. The overall market today, sideways, Bitcoin at 60991 Ethereum at 2915 BNB at 590 Solana 144 XRP 50 cents, TonCoin 695 Dogecoin 14 cents, and Cardano 43 cents. Now... Bitcoin, you can see this blue line and this green line are converging on each other. The last time these crossed in this fashion, this orange line is exactly what Bitcoin price did, which would put Bitcoin price down to roughly the 200-day moving average right here, right around $51,000. Could that happen? Well, let's take a look at some charts. First things first, the short-term holder realized price doing its business once again, acted as support for Bitcoin in a bull rally over and over and almost all over again. The short-term holder realized price acts as support. Right now, we are in the phase of chop solidation. Now, if we take a look at this cycle versus previous cycles, we have about six months of sideways chop putting us out towards September, October until we actually see the price start to move up for a top in the short to longer term. After that, depending upon which cycle we are continuing. So what, who's to say what's gonna happen with the price? But everybody right now appears to be selling very, very scared. And generally with Bitcoin, you wanna do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. I'm surprised with this one. Even whales right now are selling. Maybe they're just capturing their profits. But even with every cohort dumping, Bitcoin is still refusing to go below $60,000. This is pretty bullish. I would agree with the opinion of Bitcoin Munger right there. If we take a look, all of these weekly lower wicks are telling you something about Bitcoin. You can see these long wicks to the bottom. What are they telling us? Well, if we take a look historically, when we have wicks to the top, pushes price down. When we have wicks to the bottom, pushes price up, we go back to that chart, wicks to the bottom, generally pushes price up. As a matter of fact, Willy Wu saying the Bitcoin risk signal printed a lower high. This is nearly always bullish. You can see when we have it printing lower highs, guess what? Price goes up not long afterwards. And even if we see it back here, lower highs, price goes up. So all of these things suggesting, look at this one, big one, lower highs, price goes up suggesting a very bullish move for Bitcoin on the horizon. Pump incoming. Bitcoin testing the range low it reclaimed a few days back. Additionally, there's trend line and RSI breakouts, plus a bullish cross of the MACD. So you can see bullish cross right here. Trend line breakout of the RSI. Trend line breakout of price. Double retest of there. Well, expansion might be next for Bitcoin because if we are repeating the moves from 2013 to 2017, and I do hope this is the cycle that we are repeating because this was an awesome cycle where Bitcoin pretty much 100 x that cycle. We would have a crazy pump incoming. It looks almost identical in terms of this fractal. If you take a look at this soon, we would be breaking up right now. That would put a top roughly around $600,000 per Bitcoin. Please let that. However, a more conservative top for all of the naysayers out there. Level three of the magic band still looms at the next Bitcoin target at $91,184. Meh. With the high cycle top at $122,000. Meh. Well, if it does get there, fine. Only $122 this cycle. Next cycle, a million. And four million by 2039. It's been proven by the Bitcoin log log bands. Now, all coins right now by monthly MACD cross. You can see it right down here with stock RSI breaking 70 after max compression. The last time this happened was right before a massive alt season. Could we be right before a massive alt season? Is it possible? Maybe if you believe in fractals like I do, you can see we just have a much bigger fractal playing out from this one right here. Don't forget the macro picture. The red line holds as in a previous cycle. Total market cap goes much higher. Crypto goes much 
higher, don't want to get shaken out at these moments because we are right here, similar to right here, and right here, and this is right before we go right there, which generally is when you buy the Moon Lambos. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, like the video, join us on Twitter with your crypto love, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh yeah, subscribe to the coolest channel ever. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.